Welcome back. All right, so this is one of those beastly portions of my collection. There is a lot here. So we're going to go through the minor league AHL ones first. So AHL affiliate, the Newfoundland Growlers. So if you're wondering, does he have a Growlers? The answer is yes. I don't have the white version of this yet. Eventually I will. I have family in Newfoundland. So, and that is how you say it, Newfoundland. And uh, so for that, it's not Newfoundland. It's never been, it's Newfoundland. But uh, yeah, this is, this is a jersey I like a lot. I think it's fantastic. And of course, the Newfoundlander dog. So there's that. Um, also, this Growler's jersey here, this is a limited edition. So this is this is numbered. This is 61 out of 115. Uh, so they, they brought this out a few years ago and people argued online about how plain it was and how boring it was. And meanwhile, I just ordered it. I was like, all right, well, you guys can argue. I'm just going to... I'm going to grab myself that because it's a limited edition jersey. So this is one of the one, one of those ones I really could not replace even if I wanted to. And then they re-released they re-released this one as well, the St. John's Maple Leafs. So if you've ever wondered about St. John's as a uh, AHL affiliate, they were the AHL affiliate for the Leafs for a while there. And the St. John's Maple Leafs and St. John's is how you say it. But yeah, uh, that's that's one that I'm kind of proud of. I don't get to wear it very often in videos. It was just one that when they re-released it, I was like, all right, so I have to have that jersey because St. John's Maple Leafs. And then there's the Marlies. So for the Marlies, I have blue Marlies, white Marlies, and uh, Reebok. This one here is ACCM. Uh, this one here, I believe I got through Jersey Baron, and this one here, I believe I got through the AHL site, actually, through the Toronto Marley site itself. Uh, the Growlers stuff and, and St. John's Maple Leafs, I got those through through the Growlers website. So, all right, and then you get into all the eras of the Maple Leafs. So, we'll go back first. Sounds easiest. Why don't you put them all in order? I know. I know. This would be so much faster. I know. So back in 67, the last time they won a Stanley Cup, they were they were wearing this one. So I've talked about custom throwback jerseys. A lot of the jerseys they have are kits. This one is not. Uh, this one, uh, Yvonne and I going over and through this. And this one here, it's a, it's a key on I ordered from custom throwback jerseys. And it's, it's a nice one. Uh, I, I like this. This is their 67 design. And of course, they would change the maple leaf ever so slightly after that. So, we get into the uh, the Ballard era, don't we? The 70s one would be first. However, of course, we know that Reebok did a throwback to that design. So when you look at the 1967 design, uh, Reebok tried. They brought, they brought the 1967 Toronto look back and... It didn't have the desired effect, but they, they definitely gave it a shot. So here's my 80s Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, this one here, this one's a Rob Ramage. I got that one from Ben H Sports. Uh, I like this one because, of course, uh, it is it is a hockey jersey. But, uh, yeah, this Leafs jersey, not too shabby. Uh, the funny thing is, I think these jerseys are more popular with fans now than they were then. And I know there are Leaf fans that when they changed from this design were like, yeah, just that's the Ballard era uh, logo and don't use that. And it feels like that's kind of changed. So what's interesting is this is the 70s version and this is the 80s version. Very minor differences between the two. Um, lettering is a little bit different in the way that it's sized and centered. Uh, the neckline is different and there's no stripe all the way around the neck, but... Outside of that, they are largely the same. Not a huge difference between the two there. Uh, and then we get into... This CCM is one of those plunging necklines. So CCM and then, of course, Coho had some of these too with the, the plunging neckline. I mean, it's great if you've, got, if you've got a head that doesn't fit through some of the smaller necklines, mine included. But uh, yeah, this one's interesting. It has the TML on the shoulder. And I, I always thought that was okay as, as like a secondary shoulder thing. But the, the leaf on the shoulder, I think, looks better. So there's that. This is really how I'm going to have to do these because there's just so much to get through. Now, 
This one here, it's a nice Leafs throwback slash third that they had. They've also done this in blue with their 75th anniversary. So there's the 75th anniversary. This is a Wendell Clark. I got this one used on eBay. And it, honestly, in person, it looks used on eBay, but on camera, it looks fine. Uh, this one here, uh, I had to order. Now, what's interesting is that there, there were ones that were sold in sport check that weren't the official jersey the striping was a little different so the last time i talked about leafs and i showed a jersey it was actually one that was the the sport check one that the striping didn't match up with what they actually wore on the ice so i i did go out and fix that i think i think that's the new one so i'm sure there'll be leafs fans in the comment if that's the wrong one i picked they look very very similar very similar so there's that ah here we are uh, this is the white version of the 80s look, of course. You guys can all recognize. And I would I, I would not be surprised to see them do a throwback to this over the next few years. That seems to be how it works. Everything's, everything's cyclical in sports. And what's old is new again. Definitely true, especially it seems in hockey. All right, so all these are the new logo. So we'll keep scrolling back here through these. And to... All right, so there's another one of the plunging neckline TMLs, Coho. Um, I actually have a couple of this one here. But uh, yeah, again, the, the neckline, it's comfortable, but it's it's definitely plunging. So there's that. I should ask my, my wife if that's more or less comfortable for her. Anyways, and then we get into the Reeboks. So the Reeboks here, I got these for, for dirt cheap. This one I got for like <coughs> 20, I think it was like 25 bucks when Reebok was selling out and they were bringing the Adidas. So I grabbed that one for like, it was like $20, $25. This one I got for 30 because boom, it's a Dion Phaneuf jersey. So uh, Leaf fans let me know when I got this not to wear it. But I mean, it's a Toronto jersey. It's not bad. And again, it's a Reebok. You can see the jock tag. I don't remove the jock tags from them. So I believe that's the last of those. So let's get into this here, which is a throwback. Uh, Toronto St. Pat's. I got this one from Sports K Jerseys. Uh, they don't have that one now. This is a Matt Sundin. I didn't put my name on it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I do like the St. Pat's. I don't understand why they didn't do a green jersey with either of the reverse retros. I think that was a missed opportunity, especially since leaves are green. Anyways, say... <laughs> It's not that I have an opinion or anything, but the Toronto St. Patrick's, it's a nice jersey, and uh, I'm glad I have that one. And of course, I have the jersey that they wear for their throwback for um, March 17th, also known as St. Patrick's Day. This is a Tavares. Uh, you get these ones cheap when he gets a letter on his jersey, and you've got one that doesn't. So, yeah, um, I like this jersey, too. I'm always kind of surprised that they don't sell better than they do. Toronto fans really don't buy these and the kind of numbers that I thought they would, because I think I think it's it's clean, using modern modern uh, wording. Uh, it's it's a clean jersey, and it's a nice felt logo, and I I just I think it's a nice jersey. So, but that's me, right? So Winter Classic, they did the throwback on this Winter Classic, which is absolutely fantastic. This is my wife's favorite Toronto Maple Leafs jersey. Um, and she's got one of these coming in the mail. She just doesn't know yet. But, uh, yeah, so I, I found one online for a good price, and I know this is her favorite Toronto Maple Leafs jersey, so I figure she might as well have that. But, uh, yeah, this is... No, you never stop looking. You just, you just don't. You never know. I never know when they might release something that I don't have, or somebody somewhere as a collector might have something collecting dust that they just put up on eBay, and I'm like, I need that, and $20, you got it. Because some people don't know what jerseys are worth on eBay. But this one is really, really nice. I will agree with my wife on that. That's fantastic. I wouldn't mind seeing that on the third either. Uh, the Leafs definitely have some choices if they decide to bring in some of their old looks. I would recommend against this, though. So I'm just going to say straight out that... Um, so if you're going to do Toronto Arenas, make sure people can read it. Make sure it doesn't just look like T. We are T. Of course, this says a retinas, but we can just sort of shove that to the side. Um, this this is so odd because, yeah, it's it's blue on a blue background. And it's showing up better on the camera than I think it does when I'm actually looking at it in person. So that's something the camera did for me. But uh, 
I, I understand this is going back to the team's original name, the arenas. They'd been the blue shirts before that, but that was pre-National Hockey League. So that first year, they ended up calling themselves the arenas because blue shirts, I think Eddie Livingstone had that name, so they couldn't use it because who would want to pay Eddie Livingstone? All right, that to the back. Because, yeah, the NHL didn't like Eddie Livingstone. I've done videos on that. All right, so stadium jerseys. I love Toronto stadium jerseys. These are both absolutely fantastic, both featured in the top 100. And this one shows you can do a white maple leaf on the white background. As long as you have that blue border, it looks absolutely great. Uh, this one's a blank. This one, a James Van Riemsdyk. Uh, this one I got from um, Retro 2 Heritage, which doesn't have very much in the way of NHL anymore. Uh, this one here, I, I want to say it was through the NHL site. Yeah, I want to say it was through the NHL site, but it might have been an eBay seller. Uh, there were eBay sellers five, six years ago that no longer sell NHL jerseys. So some of the sellers that I may have used years ago no longer have that going for them. So we'll do the current home and away. That's not it. This is it. So the current home and away are fantastic. I think the Toronto Maple Leafs have a design right now that works for them. The color scheme's perfect. Um, like right shade of blue is what I mean by that. Everything's everything's nice with these. These are really well done. Of course, this is my Mitch Marner. I do not have a blank uh, Adidas Toronto Maple Leafs jersey at this point. Um, but yeah, I, I do like these jerseys quite a bit. I, I think Toronto's look is very classic. Everybody knows who the Maple Leafs are. Um, and then you get to the weirdness. So this is this is supposedly a reversible jersey, right? So you've got the 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 little smiley sort of yeah, it's the Justin Bieber. It's supposed to be reversible. I haven't seen anybody wear this inside out, and you got a fight strap. So if you order this and you want to wear it inside out, get get a Fanatics because they won't have the fight strap and it won't look quite so weird. Um, this is this is okay. It's it's okay. There are things I like with this jersey. I honestly like the blue here. I think that's kind of nice in the design they've got going on there. Uh, the Maple Leaf, which is a darker blue, has hints of like black in it and shading. It's interesting. It's a little different. Um, but it, I, I don't know if long term this one's going to stick around. I'm thinking probably not. It's one of those things that it seemed to sell really well, which might keep it around a little bit longer, but... Odds are when we go to the Fanatics jerseys next year, all the thirds will probably be gone. And then we start over. It happened with Reebok. The first year Reebok was making jerseys, there were no thirds. It happened the first year with Adidas as well. I would expect it to happen with Fanatics. I'd be kind of surprised if it doesn't. And then uh, the reverse retros. So one of these is a hit and the other one is uh, has got gray in it. And I this is where it gets weird. So I remember when the reverse retro came out, I thought, well, the Leafs are in trouble because the only colors they have are blue and white. So if they reverse it, they're just changing from their home to their away or vice versa. And then, well, maybe they can come up with something fun. And then they came up with this. This is still available at retail. Three years later, this is still available at retail. They did not make a second shipment of them. That shows how unpopular. This one in the Winnipeg Jets, reverse retros from the first time around, the most unpopular. It is not coincidental. They have gray in them, and they're very unpopular. This one, on the other hand, I cannot oversell this. I think this is one of the nicest jerseys Toronto's had. Uh, I, I think it's, it's nice enough that I think if they use this as a third jersey, that'd be fine. I know it took some criticism because of how similar it is to what they already wear, but it really isn't. It's really not that similar. Uh, the striping is different. The maple leaf is very similar, but this maple leaf was designed as a throwback to this maple leaf. They just changed the way that the, the, the veins looked on it and some of the things about it. But in general, uh, this is a throwback to this. So this is going to look like this jersey. But I, I did like what they did here. I thought it was okay. I like the striping on it, both on the bottom and on the sleeves. So it is different. I understand people not thinking this was different enough. But you have limited options with Toronto. Other than green. If this had been green, it would have been gone within the first 10 minutes. Just gone. But 
Again, that's just me. You guys can let me know your thoughts regarding the Toronto Maple Leafs jerseys, which ones you do or don't like, all that fun stuff. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.